Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I thought I would do an Ipsy unbagging today. I didn't unbag my Ipsy on my channel last month. Um, maybe I did the month before. I know I've been doing less beauty content on my channel and a little bit more health and wellness. I tend to focus on what I'm interested in on my channel, um, but I still do enjoy getting these every month. I find that my interest in terms of makeup lately has really moved away from anything involving eyeshadow. I'm really interested in makeup that is like a nice natural looking base. I'm really enjoying cream products and I'm always on the hunt for really good liquid eyeliners and mascaras. And that along with some gloss, although I'm wearing lipstick today, is usually my look lately. I mean, let's face it, you don't see a lot of people's faces, so I understand why some people might be more into like eyeshadow, but that's just, I guess I'm going for more of a natural look flushed with a defined eye lately. I know, that's just kind of what I'm doing, but I still enjoy getting these every month, so I thought I would open it with all of you. Um, this feels really small this month, so I don't know, good thing, small packages. Um, what I am hoping to get, just based off of what I was saying there, I would love to get some new trial mascaras, or probably just one, I don't think they give me more than one in a bag, um, because I have three mascaras that are currently the ones that I'm using that have also come from subscription boxes, or my Ipsy, and I'm just not feeling any of them that much. There's an Ico one, there's a Pretty Vulgar one, and there's another one that I'm gonna forget, but none of them are doing that much for me. I would also love a liquid eyeliner to try out, and although it may be a long shot, I would love like a liquid or cream blush. I am loving liquid and cre cream blushes. And then also maybe some kind of gloss or balm. And I'm always loving like skin masks. We'll see, let's see what we got. I have been watching a lot of TikTok lately, and Ipsy is like really selling hard on TikTok. So I think I know what the outside of this is gonna look like just from all the ads I've been seeing. Um, if you are here in Canada like me, this will cost you about $20 Canadian per month. Um, when you factor in the exchange rate, it varies a little bit month to month. Oh, this is actually not what I thought it was going to be from um, Ipsy, or from the advertisements, I should say. There we go, I mean, it's cute enough. It's not my fave because I like these little bags that um, I can use as a clutch or something and this just isn't so much my style, but that's okay, it can be passed on. It actually feels like quite nice material this month, not the usual plastic, so that's cool. So, I'll get the card out of the way. Do we have a theme on here? Okay, Stronger Together, uh, The Future is Female, Equality, like Sharon Dion and red lipstick and a cat eye, some things are just better together. Celebrate the people and products that make you look and feel your best. Okay, which ties into the bag. So the first thing I've got here is a little squeezy tube. So what is this? Ooh, okay, nice. It's a Ciate London product. I tend to really like Ciate London products. And this one is a mango and lime burst nourishing lip oil. So that kind of falls into my category of like a lip balm. So I have lipstick on right now, so I'm not gonna put it over top because that would probably mess it all up, but I'm just gonna put some onto my hand here to see what it smells like. It's got quite a sticky feeling. Maybe not sticky, but like it's not super oily, so it doesn't feel like it's going to like run all over your lips. Ooh, but that smells quite delightful. I'm getting a bit more of the mango than the lime, but I'm excited for that. I think I'm going to use that a fair bit. I'm usually putting on like a lip sole or something before I go to bed and also throughout the day, but that's getting low so I can switch over to using that instead. Okay, we've got a little pot product, which is probably gonna be some kind of powder product. So what do we have? Okay, it's from Lottie London. Ready, set, go setting powder, interesting. Okay, so I wonder if this is a translucent powder. Yeah, it's called True Translucent. I mean, I'm not mad at that. I always use powder to, well, most of the time. I will often use powder to set. And uh, while I have a couple on the go, I don't mind trying a new one. 
So far so good, two products that I will definitely use. Okay, we've got a larger squeezy bottle, a smaller squeezy bottle, and a medium sized squeezy bottle. So let's go for the large. This is a product from Hanalei. I've actually used their lip balm before and it was really, really good. This is an Aloe E Hawaiian face cleanser with Aloe, Vitamin E, and Hawaiian botanicals. It says, feel the aloha. Aloe E cleanser uses a Hawaiian botanical blend of coffee berry, spirulina, and kukui oil. This cleanser gently removes dirt, impurities, and makeup. Skin is left clean and hydrated without feeling tight. Use morning and night. I'm just gonna see what it smells like. Cause I feel like it should smell tropical with that name. Okay, it mostly just has an aloe smell, which is fine. I will use that. Um, I generally just use a gentle cleanser. I think it's usually a Neutrogena foaming cleanser that I use, but a very gentle one. Okay, so let's go for the medium sized squeezy tube. Okay, this is from Perless or Perlis. Um, I've used a few other products before. This is a matcha green tea antioxidant priming moisturizer. Lightweight oil free water cream. It's for oily and combination skin. It says the benefits are that matcha helps eliminate acne and fights free radicals. Green tea is a powerful antioxidant that moisturizes skin and protects from signs of aging. White tea soothes and soothes sensitive skin and vitamin E prevents premature aging and French marine plants help retain moisture. I don't always love testing out like sample sizes of moisturizers just because I feel like you don't really get enough time to see if it's doing anything. So not exactly my favorite skincare to get, but that's okay. Let's see what the very last product, the small squeezy tube is. Okay, it's from a brand that I've not heard of before called Sophia and Mabel, and it's called the I Woke Up Like This Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm always happy to try new brands. Um, I will usually use different primers depending on my mood and the kind of makeup that I'm wearing. So I would be happy to try this. It's supposed to blur the look of pores, which is always something I look for in a primer and smooth skin which, I mean, what more could you ask for? Finally, let's see if this tells us any more about the products. I feel like Ipsy is really hit and miss on whether they do or not, and they do. So let's see what it says here. The Hanalei Company Aloe E Face Cleanser. It says it's like a vacay for your skin in a bottle. This soothing, cooling, skin refreshing formula uses aloe to calm and cleanse stressed out skin without stripping away moisture. It removes makeup, dirt, and excess oils in one step. Plus it smells like crisp island air. It says the full size of the version is $24, which isn't too pricey. It's more than what I pay for like my drugstore cleanser. I always feel like cleanser is one of those things that you don't spend a lot on because it doesn't sit on your skin for a huge amount of time. Uh, as long as it does the job, removes your makeup, doesn't dry you out, it's pretty good. So the Perlis Beauty Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. Prep for flawless skin days with this lightweight oil-free hydrator. It quenches thirsty skin while shielding against environmental damage with antioxidant rich matcha green tea, soothing white tea and nourishing vitamin E. And the full size of the product is $35, which isn't bad for a moisturizer. The Ciate London Fruit Burst Hydrating Lip Oil in Mango and Lime Burst. Uh, can't decide between a lip balm and a lip gloss. <laughs> As I said, I'm really into balms and glosses lately. Swipe on this hybrid lip oil and you won't have to. It deeply hydrates thanks to mango seed butter, lime oil, and jojoba oil, and gives lips a glossy sheen that doesn't feel sticky either. And the full size version is $16. The Lottie London Ready Set Go Loose Setting Powder. Lock your makeup in place for flawless all day wear with this setting powder. It's translucent so it works on all skin tones and the natural matte finish minimizes excess shine so you look glowy, not greasy. And Latte London is quite an inexpensive brand. The full size of this is $7.50. And finally, the I Woke Up Like This Sophia and Mabel Skin Perfecting P Primer in the shade Clear, which is good. If you're like us, when you spend time on makeup, you want it to last, and this primer will do just that and more. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, a holy grail hydrator, to quench your skin while locking in your look. Plus, it blurs imperfections and pores for ultra-smooth skin all day. 
and the full size is $16, which again, not too bad of a price. So I would say other than the moisturizer, I am super excited about everything in this bag. I would say that I'm probably most excited about the lip oil, but I'm also excited about the primer and the powder. The cleanser I think will be fine to use. I'll probably just get a couple of uses out of it. And as I said, moisturizer is one of those products that I would love to try for a more extended period of time, uh, but we'll see. Sometimes if I don't wanna use a moisturizer on my face because I'll only get a few uses out of it, I'll use it as a really nice hand moisturizer or on like my chest, um, where you also really wanna moisturize your skin really well. So I will definitely get use out of it. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you like this video, uh, one of my beauty videos again. Let me know down below if you get Ipsy, what you got in it this time or what products you are excited about. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. You can click the subscribe button and the bell, I guess. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have no notifications on for any of the many channels I watch. So if it's the kind of thing that you do, consider doing it for my channel. If not, totally cool as well. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.